Welcome back to Kip Connect at Home. I'm super glad you're with me today because we're going to be talking about how God is Lord of the harvest. But what exactly does that mean, you might be wondering? Well, we're going to hear from John in just a moment about what it means that God is Lord of the harvest. But first, let's go over the last two Remember verses that we've had for our Remember and Celebrate lesson. Proverbs 16.9 says, In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. And Psalm 83.18 says, Let them know that you, whose name is the Lord, that you alone are the Most High over all the earth. Well, when we jump into this next video, you're going to see that John has something that he's snacking on. Can you guess what it might be? Here's a hint. There's over 7,000 kinds of this thing in the world. Maybe that doesn't help you. It wouldn't have helped me. But check out this video from John and then stick around for some worship at the end to hear about God is the Lord of the harvest and figure out what kind of food he's snacking on. Did you know that there are over 7,000 kinds of apples? They say that you can find apple trees all around the world. Now, I haven't tried all 7,000, and I've definitely not been to every country, but I'm pretty sure that the Honeycrisp apple is the best of all of the apples. I mean, look at it. It's just so dreamy. I mean, when you see a Honeycrisp apple, you cannot help yourself but to eat it. Oh, I mean... It's just so good. I mean, it's crunchy, it's juicy, it's sweet, and just slightly tart. I mean, no apple compares to the Honeycrisp apple. Now, you might think I'm crazy, and you may be true. You may say, settle down, John, it's only an apple. And you know that's true as well, because it's definitely not chocolate, and it's no way near as good as candy. But there's a lot we can actually take from the apple. You know, the apple's pretty impressive, and it actually tells us a lot about God. You see, the apple is grown on a tree, those big trees. You've seen them. See, it's not created using some kind of strange science experiment. The apple is, comes from nature. And the tree, it has to grow strong and healthy, and it has to get all the nutrients from the soil, and it needs water from the rain. Then the tree can grow healthy and strong, and good apples are made, and they're safe for us to eat. Did you know that when, when, an, when an apple's being, being grown, that actually a lot could go wrong? You see, it might not rain enough. The soil might not be good enough for the, for the tree to grow healthy. You know, there's also things like bugs, insects, and even fungus that can destroy the apples while they're growing. Now, that might not be a big deal to you because you can go to a supermarket and eat different foods, but many years ago, people mainly ate what they were able to grow. People knew just how amazing it was when their crops had grown just how they wanted it. They knew that it was only possible because God is the Lord of the harvest. You see, they knew that God controlled the weather and he determined the harvest every year. So every year during the Feast of the Harvest, the people stopped working and they celebrated God. And they took the fruits of the harvest, the beginning fruits, and, and they gave them back to God in a sacrifice in order to thank God for providing for them. You might not have grown your own food, but even for you, God is your provider too. He is still the Lord of the harvest. And that means that he has everything under his control. So we have no reason to worry about things like food or clothes because God provides for us. He's the Lord of the harvest. And I love what Jesus says in the book of Matthew chapter 6. So do not worry saying things like, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. 
but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. We must remain thankful for all the good things God's given us. We have no need to worry because God is the Lord of the harvest and he always provides. There's no way you won't go Nothing you won't do No place that I could hide You're always in pursuit I'm never too far gone Always in your side When I wait for you You're always right on time you're always pursuing, always pursuing, always pursuing me. More than the air I breathe, I need you here with me. And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop. And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop chasing me. You have my heart now and forevermore. You're always pursuing, always pursuing, always pursuing me. More than the air I breathe, I need you here with me. And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop. And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop chasing. Stop, never gonna stop, and you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop. 